work 24 7 to solve these crimes um, when you see this kind of senseless violence not just in pot sound but all over the world uh, it can be overwhelming and you start to lose faith that there are solutions to these issues you start thinking that maybe this is the way the world is now and we just have to deal with it because um, there isn't much we can and then I went back to the place where I fell in love with our community. Um, I went to a Pottstown community action meeting this week. And I asked for their input on what, if anything, we can do about these problems. And in Pottstown community action, I found my Christmas miracle. members of Pottstown Community Action are going to be working with us to uh, start a mentoring program um, to provide support to at-risk youth. While these crimes are not unique to Pottstown, I feel like the, there is a positive spirit and sense of community that is unique to Pottstown. Everyone in Pottstown Community Action lives in the neighborhoods affected by these crimes. These are not affluent individuals, and yet they still open their homes to those less fortunate than themselves. They have not lost faith in a better Pottstown or a better world. And it's a reminder to me that we as a community are not powerless um, in the face of insurmountable problems. There's always something that can be done, and there's always something that anyone can do. So I thank Pottstown Community Action um, for that, and I urge others in the community to follow suit and get involved. There are many people in the community that feel the same way you do and are willing to help. So because it is the season of giving, I would ask that everyone give something back to the community this month. And with that, we will.